and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on for some Naya Hero. We have a donation deck here to play. Uh, if you remember the other day, we played a Naya Glass deck, I guess on Sunday, and it looked pretty good and it was nice and aggressive. But the Glass of the Guild Packs, which was what the deck was named after, they just weren't um, pulling their weight, being a two mana artifact that you know, was an anthem for our creatures, but there's too many times like where our creatures would just die, and then we'd have this two mana anthem that wasn't doing anything. So instead of playing Naya Glass, uh, deck has been uh, transformed. The, per the person that donated for this is, was working on it and moved it over to Naya Hero. So instead of Glass the Guild Pact, we now have Hero of Precinct One, which I like that because this gives us another threat that uh, has a huge target on its head, right? Like we play Hero, our opponent like really needs to kill that. And then if they do kill Hero, maybe they don't have the removal for some of our other uh, threats then afterwards. So we got Hero, then we got a lot of aggressive stuff. The Huatli's Raptors can look kind of weird, how it's like, well, why do we have this Huatli's Raptor to proliferate? Because there's no, there's nothing here that's put in counters, I guess, this ambush. But that's about it. Well, the reason why is the Guild Mages Forums. This this land was really impressive the last time we played. Um, you know, it's basically free to play. It's just, you know, an untapped land. Um, but it makes your spells cost one more, but then it gets that that counter onto your creatures and making makes them bigger. And it looked really good last time whenever we were playing it. So excited to play Guild Mages Forum again. Uh, add a, in Hero of Precinct 1. They'll hopefully help out. And, of course, we have Rien. Cool little angel here. So let's go ahead and, and play a league. Let's try this out and see how it does. So we have Naya Hero. Okay, let's see. Need to made a couple of small changes and need to update the deck list while we get going here. All right, good little start. Yeah, our deck is completely rotation proof as well. That was the other thing. So we got it tuned to being completely rotation proof. So that's pretty nice. Even though Paradise Druid can trade with Tajik, <clears throat> we're pumping up Hero of Precinct 1 to be above Paradise Druid there. What's the name of this Gideon? What's the three mana Gideon here? Gideon, comma, what? Not out for some... I can only think of Ally of Zendikar for some reason right now, which obviously it's not that... Um, you call it anarchy. For me, it's just business as usual. We're doing it. Gideon Blackblade, that's right. There's no comma. It's just Gideon Blackblade. Thanks. And then Well that looked pretty good there. Hero definitely looked a lot better than what Glassic Guild Pact would have been. Alright, so we're playing against some elementals. I don't think we really need to do too much against elementals. I think this is our, our main deck our game main deck game plan is what we want here. Yeah, that was real fast. Good turn four. Yep, that's our plan. Let's just just kill him. Oh yeah, they they can definitely get us with Cavalier Omnath. 
those cards are really good at stopping aggressive decks. I hope we can go wide with Hero. Um, or have like a timely Domri's Ambush or go in the air. All right, third Tajik isn't great. We need a third land more than a third Tajik. Blood Crypt. So they're four colors. They're playing Yurok. On deck. There's 25 lands in this deck. There's like a lot of lands. Sure, Tajik trades with the 2-1, but we got backups. Triple black? Cavalier of Night? They're going triple black? Alright, well they got us. I suppose. I guess they got us. Looks like they got this one. Let's go to game three. Right? I mean, they, they scried to the top. I guess I'll just see what they play. I They have mass manipulation? Yeah, I don't know what that means, Ollie. I don't know what the wallet is in Arena. I've never heard of that before. So I have Black Cavalier, mass manipulation. I'm gonna play these Gideons. I don't really want Huatli's Raptors. Let's play some Gideons. Hmm. I'll trim one Tajik. We'll play one more Raptor. Yeah, Veil of Summer is good against manipulation, but I'm my game plan is not to let them get to manipulation. Because like we don't, it's really tough for us to win a long game anyway uh, against elemental decks. Like elementals just have so much, so much card advantage. Are right, keeping this because of our temples? 
Yeah, we can play turn one temple, and I guess we have a lot of temples, but the Temple of Triumphs, the Scrylands, and make sure that we don't just keep drawing lands. But, you know, like this time at least we have all of our colors. We can hit a few land drops, hopefully curve out, hopefully find a three drop to go from Goblin, three drop Aurelia. Like, that's a pretty good start. That's pretty good. Perfect. I guess Tajik's fast. Yeah, Tajik's faster. So that worked out well. Good draws. They missed a land drop. We should probably finish him off. <laughs> nothing like a bit of violence now and then. Oh, there'll be nothing but dust left when I'm done. That's a lot easier when you just draw the cards you need. <laughs> They're all on top. So much gas. Just all gas all the time. And there we go. Want to know? All right, pretty pretty impressive curve there with a couple of those games, especially with you know two drop Tajik put so much pressure on a deck that's just sitting back, like our opponents was. So we have the Scryland to look for green mana. Yeah, this is better than going to five, even though like we're like dead if we don't hit green mana. I think I put back Spellbreaker. Hey team diabetes. Welcome. Oh, what's up, Yud? Hey Yud, doing great. It's throwback Thursday. We're playing fun decks. And then we have this rotation proof Naya deck as well. That, that so far one match in has looked good. Okay. I think against the red deck I want to put the counter. I think I don't want their shock. Like don't want them just be able to have shock. Uh, and get... I guess we have... The t I think it's a shock to Jeek though. I wish I would put... Tajik down to the bottom of the library. Hmm. Now they can't block and sacrifice. <laughs> oh, yeah. Definitely done that. Question was, have you guys ever won a match but play so poorly you feel bad? Oh, yeah. All the time. <laughs> Team says at least twice a day. Yeah, I definitely got to watch that Crucible deck on YouTube. Man, that one was, that was a lot of fun.
That was good. Chandra, you need more control. Yeah. This is like this is a good day. Sit back, see the old cards. Okay. So many pretty decent options. We'll go this way where next turn I can go Domri, tick up, add mana, ambush. And this game is over. Isn't our opponent supposed to be playing an aggressive deck? That deck's so slow. I can also just minus. This is lethal anyway. Don't really have to show ambush. It's so hard. We had like basically like two attack steps. Devout decree. Clarion. And night. So, Tajik, I don't like how Tajik dies to shock, but Tajik could help out with Clarion. What do we want to take out? Do we want to take out Rien, costing five mana and ha only having four toughness? I'll take out here. All right, one. All right, one Rian out, one Domri out. Those are the first two that are pretty easy. Uh, we're going to take out, whoop, not you. We're going to take out a Tajik also. All right, so it gets us down to 62. I'm not sure what I want to do with these other two. I may trim two heroes, honestly. Because of Clarion. I'll take out one hero and one Domri. Okay, here we go. Yeah, Gideon can give lifelink, but in order for that to happen, you have to be, you know, like attacking, you know, have your Gideon play and be attacking with a creature. And like those are the games that we're already doing okay in anyway, for the most part. All right, I like this hand. We can have Devout Decree on turn two, and then turn three play a very big Huatli's Raptor with the help of Forum. Turn four play a really big Spellbreaker. The one problem, opponents on five cards. The one problem with playing Devout Decree on turn two, though, is the cards we have to, like, basically how our opponent could win this is, like, Chandra Spitfire. Right, so... I think I actually just pass. Hey, Hawkeye. What's up, Kurtash?
There's a Spitfire. Spitfire out of here. Shock does not kill Spitfire. Yeah, it's just the MTG bot always takes a, a little bit of time. Like, there's somebody that did exclamation point deck a little bit before, and so then you can't, like, like, basically, people can't just do x -way point back to back to back. I guess it's like a spam filtering or something. So it takes, a, like, 20 seconds before it does it again. You just had a 12-year-old hand me $5 or five quarters, two dimes, and a nickel and try to buy $3 worth of stuff, thinking they had $3. Ugh. That happens, though. Um, that's all right. We just got to play Rien. Such a big raptor. Such a big raptor. Yeah, Moxie, you're the best. Alright, there's another Spitfire. But we got a flyer to block. I think I want to go Spellbreaker here. I'm one short of like... I could do like Spellbreaker with no counters and then Huali... Or like just play four, four, regular 4-4 four, four Spellbreaker and then Huali's Raptor with a counter and Proliferate. But playing Spellbreaker before combat means they don't get to uh, chump block with like Firebrand and then shoot me. Rian has Vigilance, right? No Vigilance. Yeah, or we could just go really big Hey Spellbreaker. We could do that too, not play Raptor. Wow. Or we could draw that card. That card's pretty good. They do get to... They could, like, sack their two Firebrands and kill one of my creatures, though. But they only kill one, and then the other one kills them. All right, Nia Hero. The hero... We need GG's two O. What's up, QQ? Happy Throwback Thursday. Hawkeye decided to come join us. Hmm. Sometimes Arena's like, no good hand for you. So we'll keep five. We'll keep these five.
Deldare, thanks for the Twitch Prime sub. Thanks for that support. Welcome to the channel. Well. All right, looks like I need to keep the third land. Run the pen. Yeah, our, our mana, you know, just playing three color aggro is tough. I just play hero, they just shock hero. Yeah, Feather. Feather's rough. But for a rotation proof deck, this one's been pretty good. What? Okay, I just reached out my hand. He's like, why aren't you petting me? Yeah, we just need, we need, yeah, for the Esper matchup, we, got, we need more Planeswalkers. So we've got, like, the Gideons in the sideboard. Like, that That card is certainly helps the Esper matchup. And even, like, three mana Vivian, like, gotta have so much card advantage. All right. Oh, yeah, that's true. Hawkeye definitely deserves all the pets. <clears throat> so, we definitely want these Devout Decrees. Probably the Fries also. Unfortunately, Veil of Summer not really helping for us. Shock doesn't really kill their creatures besides, like, the 2-2 the two -two Haster if they have nothing. That's it. So I don't really want Shock. Gideon, can, Gideon, like, doesn't die to Reckless Rage. So, like, that's, that's nice. Okay. Yeah, we could have lava coils. Like that'd be like instead of Clarion, basically in the sideboard. Um, yeah, instead of Clarion and Fry, play coils. I don't mind that too much. Take a goblin. Goblin's a good card to play next turn. Or I can kind of I can save the Huatli's Raptor. Unfortunately, four is not the best toughness to be at because of Reckless Rage. But it's possible they don't have Reckless Rage. That's possible, right? That's possible, right? No Reckless Rage? No Reckless Rage. Okay.
Hmm. I don't want to just play Huali's Raptor. Alright, so you have to add both your mana. And then do this. So big. Skill Mage's form is sweet. That's awesome. Good job, Sausage. Glad to hear that. Glad to hear that. Sultai Treachery putting you the highest you've been in two seasons. That's awesome. I don't think they're attacking. Okay, maybe they are. Do they have like a shock, I guess? No, shock doesn't do it. They're just letting this 2-4 die. I don't want to use the red mana. Why do they make this thing so hard to deal with? Why why is it using that mana? I honestly don't know what to do. Okay, you're kinda of in the way. I've been told this is the way to do it, to add the mana first. Okay, there we go. They make it so difficult. Okay, so we have a we have a God's willing to we we can do, go like pro red to make sure one creature gets through here. Now we can use that offensively. Well, it's really a four mana five five. It wasn't really a two mana five five. I don't know. Are they? Like they can't like actually kill me, right? I'm not sure if I want Gideon's. Maybe not. Maybe I want Clarion. No. What 
We'll go with this. All right, here we go. Yeah, I, d I don't know what our opponents could could really have. Uh, yeah, I, d I don't know. There's like the one red mana, give your creature plus three, plus two. One mana divination. Not bad. Oh, I look forward to seeing you running away. Oh, I'm sorry. Were you doing something? So I want, I want. The spellbreaker to be bigger than four toughness. Next turn we can actually just play Aurelia here. Also. Oh, what? Can't finish the job. But I think it's probably better to play Spellbreaker. They're, if they're both large, like if, if they do have. Explains a lot, actually. Oh wait, how does this work? Oh, whatever. We don't need the uncounterable thing. If they, because if they do have uh, Reckless Rage now that they have the two Arcanists, you know they can still Reckless Rage and kill a Spellbreaker. By using both their creatures, but I'd, I'd rather them kill Spellbreaker than Aurelia. I guess I should have played the Temple of Triumph for my land. Oh no, I need to play the Forum. So yeah, they're both two power. So they'll both be able to kill Domri. All right. Well, they went pro red. Yeah, doesn't always work out. Okay. Anyone. Not bad. I'll take it. I'll take it. Time to hit hard. Darn it. They saved their reckless rage. For a really a good good sequencing there to, to play the reckless rage first. To put it back in their hand with feather, but that's that's really not good for me to see. Yeah, that was just a, a free removal spell.
All right, looks like I need to keep Fry available. I mean, they they still could have just killed the Spellbreaker. You would, like, if I kept Fry available, they still would have just, you know, Reckless Rage, Spellbreak. You know, then I wouldn't have played Hero. They would have just Reckless Rage and then recast Reckless Rage. The, it's just the Reckless Rage would have gone back to their hand. But they still get to do it here, unfortunately. Yeah, such a beating. Such a beating. One card has been cast so many times, it's unreal. Gideon Jura, at your service. Your light will clean. Like was that like what seven times maybe? Maybe five times? Something like that, like five or seven times for this reckless rage. I don't think I have a five power haste creature. It's close. Oh, they gained a life from Gideon. I know I'm dead to a lot of stuff, but I'm just, I think my my best way of winning this is them not being able to kill me here and me getting a lucky top deck kind of thing. Hey Boot, doing real good. I believe in you, friend. Played a good close match here with Feather. Looks like we're not going to win it, but it was a good match. You draw like another spellbreaker. Fortunately, the shocks don't really kill anything, so I've sideboarded them out. But this would have been like a, a good time for shock. Oh, I guess they they went to three. All right. So yeah, we needed spellbreaker there. Good close match. For us flooding out and them casting Reckless Rage, yeah, I think maybe seven times, or maybe that was the eighth time. It's either like the sixth or the eighth time casting a Reckless Rage. We, and with us flooding out, we put up a good fight. Put up a good fight there. Okay, Inferno of Power is up on YouTube. Hawkeye's gone, I can move this back up. All right, good brother. I'll see you tomorrow. Yeah, so we'll have Kaikar, Brawl, and the Golgari deck. Do you want me to change stuff with the Golgari deck? Do you want me to update stuff? I mean, I want to keep this, but obviously we don't have green mana for Spellbreaker. But we're on the play. I guess we're just supposed to go to six. We don't have a two drop either. All right, good mulligan, good mulligan. All right, you want... All right, you want Blood Sun in there? I can I can do that. 
I'll figure it out. I'll take a look at it tomorrow. All right, land. Take it. I like I like Brawl as a format and everything. I haven't played these pre -con, the precon Brawl decks yet, but um, we're gonna do it tomorrow as part of a donation deck. I'm playing the the Jund one tomorrow, like three times. We'll we'll see how long it takes. Maybe a fourth. We'll see. But yeah, so we're gonna we're gonna play some tomorrow. So y'all will be able to help me out because I I won't even know um, I don't even really know like what cards to expect from our opponents or anything. And boom goes the dynamite. Yep, opponent's definitely on. Um, uh, Field of the Dead. Rejuvenator. I'm excited about Historic. Let's see some panic in the streets. Yeah, I'm excited to be playing Historic. So, 4, 8, 10. So, options are either Fight or Tick Up, Shock. And then save Fight for next turn. But we'll, we'll fight here because we're... If we draw a land, we can tick up for Rien. All right, so you think this? These are the kind of games that we're gonna win. We can go underneath. We got to go underneath them. Hit hard. The long game does not help us. So I think, I think Shock's a card I'm not super excited about. Devout Decree is amazing against your rock, but doesn't really do anything against anything else. Uh, could have, could go Veil of Summer. Kind of like Veil of Summer. Let's go Veil of Summer. We could play one Decree. We could play one Gideon. We could play one Clarion. I think it's I think it's one of those. I think it's either a Devout Decree, a Gideon, or a Clarion. Basically Clarion because they can make a bunch of zombies. I guess that's it's not Clarion. That's not the kind of game we want to play. Maybe we just play the shock. Yeah, I'm gonna play one shock. Alright. Figure it out. Yeah, big Domery is coming in against control decks, like decks with sweepers. And stuff like that, like where we want some some card advantage with like the minus ability to grab some creatures. So yeah, that's same kind of thing with Chandra also. Yeah, I've kind of wanted more. Yeah, I like the Domri's ambush. I kind of want more Domri ambush. I like this card a lot. Yeah, Crucible was a lot of fun to play. That was, that deck was a grind fest for sure, but it was a lot of fun. Snap, if, if you are watching our opponents play, don't tell me their hands. That is impolite.
All right, so I have Raptor, Spellbreaker. Do you have CWZ? Do you have a list that you would mind sending me? Because, yeah, I'm, I'm all about playing those cards. It's Chandra Tribal with Druidic Vow, Immolating Inferno, Kiora, Blood Sun, Lotus Field. Oh, uh, I don't have like a, I don't have like a, a specific list, like 75 for you, 619. Because you just be playing like Sultai Field of the Dead with your rocks, if you want, if you're playing your rocks in Field of the Dead. All right, so I never did. Never did keep up. You know, I I just curved out with two drop, three drop, four drop. So I didn't keep up Veil of Summer. That's certainly hurting us. Well, not certainly, but hopefully we draw some other threat and not more lands. That'll work. That card's gonna be hard to beat. That's going to be really hard to beat. Hmm. All right, so I don't get to activate. This is gonna be tough. Correct, track team, that's how yep, that's how Guild Mages form works. If if you choose to use it, it your creature will cost one more, but you get a one one counter. Thanks, CW. Thank you. All right, we're going to need, like, a flyer. I need, like, that Aurelia back. So I'm not really getting through this.
We need a flyer. Not a flyer. Doesn't really get better for us if we just sit back and wait. I don't think. Let's just attack in. There's four two twos over there. We have five three power creatures. I really shouldn't be attacking in with the one one. Probably. I don't know. Like this blast zone. Like if I just sit back, like the blast zone's gonna just destroy a bunch of stuff. Just let's get on in there. Yeah, they can double block and kill a couple of my creatures, but it does require them to, to double block. A lot of it's a lot of damage coming through if they do these double blocks. I know I could first strike Tajik, but Tajik is still going to die even if I first strike, so it doesn't really help us at all. But, all right, down to three, so. They took out the two three drops so that they can blast zone for two. Getting close. I wish I had six mana Chandra in the deck. Yeah, we basically only have, um, yeah, like Aurelia and Rien as ways to fly over these. How this game played out is like a good showing of why like Deafening Clarion could be good. Like if we have Tajik in play and then Clarion where it would kill all these zombies. But we were just a little slow on the draw here. We had a good curve. You know, I'm not like complaining about our curve or anything. It just, you know, being on the draw, you're always just a little bit slow. Yeah, it's it's not like our hand was slow. Like our, our hand was was good. It's just we were like our yeah, we had a good hand. It just it ended up being too slow with opponent being on the play. Don't worry. This is all just an illusion.
I could have waited like a, a turn with you know, like the Noxious Grasp Assassin's Trophy, like you know the two removal spells. Turn three, turn four for our opponent. Certainly hurt me. I, I could have waited a little bit and been able to get better use out of Veil of Summer than what I did. Our out's another God's Willing. Dang. Was it the next card if I cycled Veil of Summer? No, it wasn't. So if we got another God's Willing, we could have gone pro green and pro black. But I, I feel like there was probably a removal spell. But I guess I, guess I should have cycled Veil of Summer. Okay. But yeah, that was really close. Tajik with three with two toughness. I'm just gonna run it back. Yep, we're on the play now. Let's run it back. Yeah, we haven't seen anything that stops Field of the Dead so far. After rotation, we haven't seen any anti Field of the Dead cards yet, but we've only um you know, we've only seen a very small amount of the set though. Let's draw. Let's draw some good cards. I don't mind being a turn slower to have the Veil of Summers up, and I like like if we didn't have Temple of Triumph, I wouldn't have kept this hand. But having the Temple of Triumph, I thought it was more likely that we curved out. And so yeah, we already got a scry to the bottom. again yeah so yeah I could have fought the grazer which would have you know would have helped me out now but I thought it was also just possible that they had uh, risen reef The next turn, like if I if I fight there, then then they play Risen Reef, and then I don't have removal for Risen Reef, and then I'm sad about that. So I kept the Domri back because of that. Yeah, the the last time I played Teamer Elementals was the um, MCQ here on Arena, and I liked my list. That was the last time I played it, though. But yeah, if you if you look up yeah, if you look up that one, you know, on the YouTube channel, you can look for MCQ with Teamer Elementals. The 
double trumps. Well, at least our two scry lands put lands to the bottom. Oh, but then we reshuffled because of the trophy. Yeah, Golgari deck works pretty well. I was real happy with it. Come on, deck, let's get some spells. That's not a spell. GG. I definitely need to draw three drops whenever I kept my hand. My four, you know, it's a four land hand. Didn't have too much power. We did not. And it's over. With it being the last game here on the the um, donation deck, I'll I'll keep playing for a little while, but this is over. So these could have been shocks. If you're thinking like what else th would these have been, they would have been shocks. Sh shock wouldn't really help us too much. I mean, I guess shock would have killed the Risen Reefs. I guess. So I think this the game two, I should not have played Aurelia on turn four. I should have waited till turn five and had Vale of Summer back up. That was my biggest mistake. GG's. Alright, so we went 2-2. Two, two. Um, I like a lot of the stuff with the deck. You know, Hero into Tajik is awesome. Hero into, like, Spellbreaker, Domri, like, you know, that's awesome. Goblin's really good. The Raptors weren't bad. Uh, weren't too bad. They were okay. Boros, I don't, I don't know about Raptor or Boros Challenger though. I don't really like either of these two drops. And so yeah, a couple of things I don't really like about the deck. I don't really like either of these two drops. Um, I don't like, I don't like how we just play like four shocks. Shocks don't like kill very much stuff, and like the things that shock kills. Usually, like, our, our creatures are fine against anyway, but, like, big creatures, shock doesn't kill. I like Ambush. I kinda, I'd rather play, like, four Ambush. I like this card a lot. Because Ambush can actually kill bigger creatures and make your creatures bigger also. Um, yeah, I like Heroic Reinforcements. Yeah, I mean, I like Heroic Reinforcements. No, Swift Blade Vindicator. No, I'd, ra I'd rather have these than Vindicator. I've... I'm kind of over Vindicator right now. I've 
tried it quite a bit. It just doesn't work. Um, oh, reinforcements rotates. Yeah, that, that rotates. That's right. We are rotation proof. Um, maybe thrash threat. Maybe like ambush and thrash, where thrash can also be a 4-4. I mean, heck, if you're playing Ambush and Thrash instead of, like, Shocks, instead of, like, these other two drops, if we play Ambush and Thrash and we have God's Willing, like, honestly, we could be playing a couple, like, we, we could be playing a couple Feathers. You know, it doesn't have to be, like, something that, like, we have, like, a ton of Feathers, but we could have a couple, and that gives us a little bit more flying, as we saw, like, Field of the Dead is, like, a problem. So we could have, like, some more flying there with, like, Feather and Ambush. And even if we're not, even if we're not trying to do too much like even if it's just like a couple feather more ambush it even even without thrash is a is amara better than these things i kind of feel like amara is better than those things Well, if you had something like this, where you still have 10 two drops, still a lot of two drops, still have 10 two drops, then you have like the ambushes, and you just have like a couple feathers. Um, like maybe that's too many threes, maybe we need to trim like a Tajik or something there. I don't know. I'm not seeing. I could I could definitely see Raptor being better. Why is Amara not as good with fight spells? Still you still pump it up to be three power. Or what's what's the name of this thing? Yeah, Huali's Raptor. I could, I mean I could I could play Huali's Raptor instead of Amara. That's that's just a card to think about. Also. But yeah, like the Amara game one, if we can, you know, if we can get a couple attacks in, making like those extra creatures are, are just nice. There's there's not a draw engine. There's not really one. Like we could have like Domri's in the main deck, I guess, for a draw engine. There's not really one. Yeah, yeah. Challenger does pump itself. Raptor, Raptor does for z you know zero mana with the forums. And I think I think I like Raptor more than because of the Guild Mages forums. I like Raptor more than uh, Challenger. Challenger is just so slow. Um. But yeah, so that, that's something to think about. I, I really like Domri's Ambush. I like this card a whole lot. I, I liked the Hero Precinct one. That was that was a lot better than Glass. Hero is a lot better than Glass. Domri's Ambush is awesome. Um, just playing a couple Feathers is 3-4 Flyers. Like, that's honestly just pretty big. And, you know, if you put a counter on it, it's a 4-5 Flyer. Uh, that's that's honestly... Like, Feather is honestly just a pretty good card that that could probably just be in here. Even if even if we only have, like, a couple of Ambushes and, and you know, like a God's Willing or two. The God's Willings weren't very good. I, I'm not even sure if the God. I mean, yeah, I'm not sure if the God's Willings are necessary. They weren't very good. That may not be necessary. But it it did seem like maybe we need another four or five mana card because we did. You know, like we we were losing. You know, like how we're losing power. So like maybe we have something else like up here. Not sure there. <clears throat> Yeah, I wouldn't mind getting rid of God's Willing. It wasn't, it wasn't super impressive. But I, I like maybe keeping one or two if we're gonna play. If you want to play a feather. Um, but yeah, so yeah, we're gonna be doing. We had a donation to do like a Jeskai version with this uh, on Saturday. So cool, we'll be doing that. But there we go. That's not that's Naya Hero. So if you're watching this video later on YouTube, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons over there. But thanks for watching some Naya Hero, and I'll see you for the next video.